Guys, this is how I usually sound when I'm recording on this lab mic. And honestly, as you can hear, it kind of sucks. You can probably hear the reverb bouncing off the table and all the walls, maybe a little background noise, some humming from outside the window. And you can also just feel how far away my voice is from the actual mic. That's because you can see the lav mic is sitting way down here, nowhere near my mouth. A lot of you guys know this is actually a big reason why I never used lav mics and why for like eight years on YouTube, I always used my handheld Zoom H1N mic. But just wait for a moment for me to turn this on. This is the exact same audio that you've been listening to, but run through Adobe's Enhanced Speech version two. This is the same mic, the same room, nothing has changed. And now it sounds like I recorded it in a treated studio. This online tool is ridiculous and it's now even smarter than the last time I used it. So in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I use Adobe's Enhanced Speech on every project where I use this lab mic. First, head over to Adobe Podcasts Enhanced Speech page in your browser. This works completely online, absolutely no software needed, and comment speech below if you want a link delivered to your DMs. All you gotta do is drag in your audio file, and once it's uploaded, you'll see two sliders, one for speech enhancement and the other one for background noise reduction. For lav mic recordings like this, I personally set my speech enhancement to 5% and my background noise reduction to 10%. That way it doesn't overprocess my voice, but still clears out the reverb and the noise. Then you hit play to preview, and if it sounds good, click download and you're done. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, say, can you see? Oh, say, can you see? Happy cows come from California. Happy cows come from California.